Earlier today, I had the pleasure of addressing the members of the Police Association of Ontario at their annual general meeting. I want to thank, once again, all the members of the police services for the incredible work they've done keeping our community safe during this unprecedented time. We truly couldn't have done it without your help, and we're so grateful for everything that you do day in and day out. My friends, COVID-19 changed almost everything that is normal in our everyday lives. But one thing hasn't changed, hasn't stopped during the pandemic, is the gun and gang violence happening on our streets across Ontario. Let me put it into perspective. In just a year's time, the number of street gangs involved in opioid mar market more than doubled. And then it tripled when it comes to the methamphetamine market. It's not just drugs that are a problem, guns remain a huge problem for communities all across Ontario. In fact, almost half of all firearm traffickers are street gangs. These are scary numbers, and it shows the size of the challenge faced when it comes to combating these criminals. Our government knows the police can't fight these thugs alone, and as Premier, I promise they'll never have to. We will spare no expense to ensure our brave women and men in uniform have everything they need to wage this battle against gun and gang activity. That's why today I'm announcing a further investment of over $75 million over three years to combat crime. Funding that will disrupt the drug supply chains and help investigative supports. It will help police trace firearms, identifying gun traffickers, prosecute the bad guys, who put the lives of everyone in danger. This is about keeping our community safe. This is about keeping our children safe. These initiatives will disrupt gang activities and the drugs and human trafficking, trafficking that fund these criminal elements. As I've said, there's no crime more deplorable, more heinous than human trafficking. There can be no mercy when it comes to cracking down on these crimes and t the terrible people who commit them. And so we remain fully committed to working with our policing and community partners, arming them with the resources and tools they need to do their job to the best of their abilities. In fact, last week we announced an investment of over $267 million over the next three years to support community safety and policing grant program. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We will do whatever it takes to protect people from the criminals who want to do them harm and who threaten and prey on our children every single day. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with law enforcement. We will never relent in our duty to keep Ontarians safe. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario.